Act six, the excretory system, waste and water. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Water is pretty darn important to our health, our bodies, even our planet. An adult human body is approximately 60% water. It's in our cells, bones, muscles, blood, organs, skin, etc. Aw, shucks. The excretory system regulates the volume, or how much, and the composition, or what a thing is made of, of fluids in the body, as well as removing liquid wastes and extra fluid. The extra molecules here are salts, H2O, and sugars. Let's take a look at the body parts that make this water management possible. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Whee! The excretory system is responsible for water balance. The kidneys filter water and extract wastes, which are released from the body in the form of urine. Inferior, vena cava, aorta. Kidney, renal vein, renal artery, adrenal gland, ureter, bladder, urethra. The kidneys are located behind the rest of the abdominal organs. It's recommended that human beings should drink about eight glasses, 0.5 gallons or two liters of water every day to maintain fluids in the body. But really, it depends on lots of things, your age, your height and weight, whether or not you've been exercising, even the temperature outside. Instead of counting glasses, remember to drink water when you're thirsty, at every meal, and before, during, and after exercise. Water is lost when we urinate, sweat, and exhale. Oof! That last one, exhaling, might seem a bit weird, but think of your breath on a cold day. Woo. That steam you see when you breathe out? Woo. That's water vapor. Phew! Let's take a look at what's going on inside the excretory system. Poke. Looking inside the kidney, aorta, inferior vena cava, adrenal gland, renal vein, ureter, cortex. Inside the cortex, nephron, collecting tubule, Bowman's capsule. Looking inside Bowman's capsule, blood goes in, blood goes out. Glomerulus to the ureter. Extra fluids and wastes, including salts and sugars, are taken from the blood to the ureter. The kidneys filter about 440 gallons or 2,000 liters of blood each day. Nice work, kidneys. Roughly 44 gallons of fluid going through the Bowman's capsules. Almost all this liquid is put back into the blood with only 0.2 to 0.4 gallons, one to two liters of liquid, leaving the body as urine every day. See you later. While we're on the topic of urine, let's follow this liquid down the ureters and into, look out below, the bladder. This muscular organ is a temporary home for all that extra liquid expelled from the kidneys, ureter, urethra, muscles that allow the bladder to empty. Remember visceral muscles? These specialized muscles form the walls of our internal organs, and the bladder is one of them. Looking inside, the bladder, liquid waste from the kidneys. Just as with the organs of the digestive system, the visceral muscles of the bladder contract and relax to move fluids. The bladder can hold approximately 0.07 gallons or 0.3 liters of urine. As it fills, the need to expel the urine is felt along the urethra. This signals to the brain that it's time to urinate or pee. Phew. Us humans urinate an average of three to four times a day. The color of your urine can actually tell you something about your body. Clear, pale yellow urine signifies a well-hydrated body while dark yellow or cloudy urine is a sign that you should drink more water. Well, that's an easy problem to fix. Eating a bunch of beets can make your urine pink. That's because of the beets' color. They can sometimes make your poop purple. All this talk of liquids and releasing waste, I think I need to use the restroom. 
this would be a good time for intermission.